has been sometimes referred to as a close encounter of the furry kind. And it happened in a totally unexpected way. Yellowstone Ranger Barbara Pettinger and her husband were scouting the trail for a nature walk when they surprised a resting bear. These sorts of things happen to other people. 200 feet off to her right, Barbara saw a dead bison. Both of us had had some training and done reading about what kinds of things to be wary about in bear country. We knew we shouldn't stay in the area. We knew we sh should definitely not approach the carcass of the dead animal. But I was curious enough to want to know whether it had been fed on. Nearby was the grizzly that had been feeding on it. The bear charged. The, her ears were flattened down to along her head, and all of the hair was flattened, so she looked very, very streamlined, and she was fully stretched out, so she was coming fast. And uh, it, it's, it's a terribly frightening thing to see. It's, it's a real jolt to see something coming like that and knowing that it's happening. I knew I was on the ground and the bear was on top of me and uh, she was moving around a lot and I, I could feel the claws either claws or teeth or both I don't know which and I was screaming and um, and my husband told me afterwards that I was yelling oh no oh no and almost as soon as I realized that I was yelling uh, I also realized I had to stop that my best chance was to to play dead which I did, and all, as soon as I became quiet, the bear left me, and as soon as she reached the top of the slope, she came racing back down again. She seemed to stop just down slope of me, and she hooked her claws under the uphill side of my body and pulled me over on my back, and she did it with enough momentum <clears throat> that I could use that momentum to get all the way face down again. I didn't open my eyes. I didn't look at the bear at all. And she did this three times. She just simply pulled me over onto my back. I rolled with it, rolled face down again, and then the bear left.